Yo, what's going on, everybody? Friends right here. Uh, welcome back to the channel. And we are mowing right now. We have a lot to do today. So, let's hop in and get this done today. So, today's schedule, what we're pretty much doing today is we're following this. Let us dry out for about a couple of hours. Then, we gotta go grab a skid steer that I think is mine, but I'm not really sure. So I'm just gonna like pull it out and just ask around. You know? So I'm getting in trouble for stealing somebody's property. Then, we'll see if we can in this episode. Rake this up and bail it. So I'm gonna do a couple more passes here. And then what I'm gonna do next is I'm just actually I'm just gonna finish going around one more time and then I'm just gonna go see if I can get that thing out of there. Skid steer. So the skid steer to Massey Ferguson, I think it's like a 5,000 or something. It's a really old skid steer. So it's a really old skid steer. It's around from probably 1970s and 80s. Not really sure. And so ever since I've owned that, it's been that property up there. It's been there in the bushes. So I gotta find... I want to use something to pull it out, but I really don't know what. I was going to use the 4955, but I don't know if it'll do it. It might. Let's just use the 4955. It's been hooked up to this, so let's just get all these off here. Okay. Don't, don't mind the animation. Animation. Okay. My plan is we're gonna take this thing, John Deere, and the recovery stuff. I'm just gonna pull it out and drag it back to this place here, or to the other farm up there. The one problem we might have is it could be locked up, which is a high possibility it's been out in the water and you know. These out so they're not getting stuck under there. Then I'll probably be good, I don't know how else. Where's the uh, And then, yeah, pretty simple. Not going on. Um, this needs to go lower, down lower, so that I can. Okay, that works. Yeah, I'm doing this real quick just because it probably won't take long. If I can't even pull it, I'm just gonna leave it. This thing, I love this thing. So. Yesterday was wet, but and then after it, it dried out pretty good. I got stuck yesterday, and I had to pull it out with the International we have over there. And that was fun. So the International that we have over there, 12.06 I think is what it is. 
um, my buddy is out of town, and we're, he lives down where we got that Chevy, and he, some people steal stuff sometimes, and he goes to start up his own farming business and all that, so he asked me just to hold on to that international, pulled it right out of there with that thing. Of course, this thing is, uh, it's old, but it's still good to point. Okay. Yeah. That stuck right over there where that dry spot is right there. Anyway, I saw there's nothing there. The back wheels are just down in there. Windows got all dirty and everything on the Alice. Well, there it is right there. So my plan with this thing is to get it running awesome, clean it off, because it just looks like it's mud on here, that's what it looks like. A little bit of rust it looks like on the bottom, but it's fine, and then from there I guess sell it. I don't really know what I would do with this thing. Okay, so the one problem that you might have with this thing is probably the bucket because it's a uh, hydrostatic and I don't know how that's going to end out there. So let's get that there. Oh, will that not go on there? Yeah, I might, be, might need to go the other way. I hope that works. I really want to pull out this thing. I've not used this thing really all year. I'd like to use it, at least. Okay, and then I'll grab it. Put it in that direction. There we go. Okay, so I guess the alley's locked up. I'm pretty sure these are not locked up. So we I'm just gonna pull it out of here. Love this thing. <laughs> Still have to go for a little bit of uh, grit. Uh, hey, but it's fine. Hey, okay, road speed. Oh. Can we not? I don't think it'll release any pressure, but it has none. <laughs> so pull it gently. I'm gonna come across here, but that there crossed the that, so I don't want to. I really can't anyways. That's wet. It can be wet spots all in that. Come on.
to tow it back to the shelter. If I don't damage it. Hold on. I had that. One of the wheels are locked. I think they're like. It was locked up until we yanked on it. And it just. I don't know. Okay. That was relatively easy. Okay, so now what we gotta do is I gotta drive over to there. Or, I don't know how to put a tractor over here. Um, yeah, we go over there, grab the John Deere 3020. And. Push it in there. Uh, what do I use? Yep. We yeah, sort of. this thing but it's just kind of slow okay so oh I don't even have a bucket fudge fudge uh what's this off topic off topic uh I don't have a uh huh, what can I use uh Um, shoot. Here, let me try something. The in and out this ain't mine. It's one of my buddies, his buddies, little um machine. It has a bucket on it. Well, it's a little garden tractor. We're trying it, okay? Once I figure out how to get out of here.
see how this goes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, plan B. Plan B. Comments about how stupid this, this might be right now. Let's, let's let it work. It works. And this thing is heavy. Ah. Come on. Okay. It's a 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven. That store, just 7-Eleven. Um, and that's a freaking 7-Eleven. Yeah. <laughs> Is there the international? Let's get to your hydrostatic. It looks the same. Um, uh... I'm gonna go grab a battery. Actually, you know what? No one's using this right now. It's gonna take a battery. Yeah. There's the battery. Should never from the bottom there. Uh, where is it? Here. Oh. Okay, I need it too. Uh, there we go. Okay, real quick. So, I'm gonna 
just spin the blade, the crankshaft, the crankshaft, the uh, the thing that's fans connected. I think that's what it's crankshaft. I'm gonna stick a wrench, put it on that. Just make sure it goes around pretty good, not tight or nothing. And uh, see how that goes. I feel like it should go. Okay, so um, it's tough at first, but it's it's free. So what I'm gonna do is I'm um, either the good thing is I'm gonna have a fire extinguisher with me. Never mind, I don't even have one. <laughs> So, these things are notorious for causing fires from sitting, so, I was thinking of push pushing that side, so if it does get to fire, it burns right here. Then how the heck am I going to get it out? I'm just going to see if it runs, and then just, yeah, so, the key, the pain that I really do this. He's right here, turn it on. Here we go. Okay. Now I got nothing. Got horn. Lights. That's expected. Okay. Fire probably happening right now. That's still none, so. Which is, come on. Come on. Oh. Oh. She sounds like a runner. I'm gonna get some ether here. Go to the air, Hilda. Where's she at, Hilda? Right there. Go and let's see. Let's see. Okay. Spins. Anything? Okay. I just want to see. Sorry, Heston. If I could pick this track for a tractor with this, I'm keeping this. I swear, as it's just a spare. Really slow. I don't know if it's just what's in or what. Okay. I be dead and that's crazy. Sasser. One way to do it. Oh, geez. Okay.
Check it out. I turn it off, then I turn it back on and we'll start right back up. Okay. I'm gonna let that sit there for a little bit just to get warmed up, and then we'll see how it goes from there. Okay, <laughs> that's how probably good enough. Okay. So. I'm just gonna leave this here. We gotta go back to mowing. I gotta get that done today. Hopefully today. Oh, I forgot where the mower was for a second. Yeah, so hopefully we can get this all done today. So I won't have to do it tomorrow. This will may uh, I don't know if this will be the last series we'll be doing because FS25 is coming out in I think 2020. It's coming out this year at like November, I think. So this might be the last series on this on this game. But I don't know. I might keep it. So I don't know if we will have to, you know, go over because I like FS22. I just love how it's built. I have a lot of good memories on this game, and you know, it's kind of hard to miss it. Okay, so. We have that all done. All I have to do now is do this piece here, let it sit, and then we'll be done. And rake it. Probably tomorrow, maybe. It depends on what the weather is going to look like tomorrow. Oh. Rain. Yeah, we got to rake and mail and all that today. So, in a couple of weeks here, we're we going through our equipment on what we have and what we don't want anymore. And we're gonna do, we're gonna doing is selling it. So pretty much, I'm gonna bring all this stuff down to the end of the road there. I'll post it on Facebook Marketplace too. Not actually. And I will put a for sale sign or I'll just like put it on Facebook Marketplace or something. I don't know. Just something like that. And you can actually get some money off of that. Because I have some money in my savings and I want to use it. We have a lot of equipment. 
and I would hate I would hate for it just to sit there and not be used. So yeah, do that. So guys, I'm pretty sure I never did a thank you guys for 200 subscribers. I don't think I ever did that video. Um, well, thank you guys so much. A lot. Like, thank you for 200 subscribers. I know we're way past it now. I think we're at like 227 or something. And I love what I'm doing. So if you guys want to keep on seeing it, just like and subscribe. And turn on post notification bell so you guys see when my next video comes out. Okay, brain fart. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's been a little bit since I've mowed, so. Bear with me. Ooh. Yeah. That's what I want to do is I want to add some more things to the channel. I want to like so far what I've been doing guys are liking it so I don't really change much but probably the only thing I might be changing is my weekly uploads that's probably the only thing that might change because i post i used to post every day and i post every like once in a while so i think it might be like a couple of days a week you know i'll post so then you guys you know i can watch them I like the video i just posted today Anyway, let's just get back to this here and stop talking about that. So, what I'd like to do once I get this done is I was gonna do silage bales with this, but then, like, it's a pain. I don't have a chopper, so I'm just gonna bail this up and break it, you know? It's the quickest way to do it. But, you know, chopping it is too, but I don't have a silo or do that if I wanted to chop it. Like, this tractor I'm keeping 100%. Just because I can't, I don't, I'm not a big fan of them. But this tractor and the horsepower is just crazy. So that's probably the only reason why I got this thing is because the motors match it and this thing just zooms. It's quicker, it's not going 20 down a road. You know? So, a lot quicker.
Let me hit a second here. So, before I have to send back that international we have, I want to put that on the rake. So what I've been, so what I'm just realizing, we also have that field that we tell that I got stuck in yesterday. So we might have to fail that all, because I have the dry conditioner in there, dry heat conditioner in there. So this might have to sit here for another day because it's it's gonna it's not gonna rain for two days. That's good. You know, so this might just sit there for a little bit. Going to bail today, but I just realized I had that, so we're not bailing that today. Definitely not. This is one, by the way. I have to wash it so I get back to him. But so it's kind of dingy on me. You know, this thing is nice. I hope this. I'm assuming it has enough horsepower, right? Maybe. I'm assuming it does. Um, I hope it does too. Uh, 300 horsepower. I'm assume it has a lot. Yeah. Let's gonna zoom with this. Okay. Let's get this thing out of there. Right. There we go there. I just love how he's restored this thing. He restored this, by the way. He didn't buy it and then sat outside. He bought it and restored it. And just how good it looks, you don't want to steal it. So, yeah, to me to land on. Yeah, I'm using it, so. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> so. Let's get this done. I gotta go get the baler. Cause that thing's all the way down. Oh no, it's over here. Never mind. I'll write this, leave this here. We're gonna bail this off real quick. And we'll be good. It's very, this stuff's pretty dry.
Uh, I love this tractor. It just I'm more of a giant guy, so it wouldn't look good on a farm, but we're digging this thing. It's cool. So, um, honestly, from that international, international, that Massey Ferguson skiss data that was in here, me really thinking about it, I might just keep that thing as a, like a spare. Um, no, I have it on both farms, so I don't need to take it, everything from that farm right over. No, that probably would be a lot easier. I was think. I wonder who that mowed that. What does it mean? Honestly, this haste kind of sucks. Just from if you guys are farmers, you can tell what hay sucks or not. It kind of sucks, but it also kind of doesn't. It kind of still looks. It looks pretty decent. I think it does at least. But you know, there's a couple. There was a couple weeds in here. You know, but. I can't really do much about weeds. Well, you can, you can spray it, but then you're spraying the entire crop. I mean, that's no point. See, this thing even starts. I hope it does. I gotta wash it. I haven't done nothing with this. Once I was done bailing this, parked it right over here, and it's where it's been sitting ever since. Let's sit here for a second. I really hope nothing was stripping down into that because if you're on the right angle, say for instance there's a branch that has stream water coming out, if it was going down fast enough, I'd go right down into that pipe. That's the only thing I like about that. But you can't do much about that, so, you know, you gotta deal with it. This is probably one of my favorite tractors. The 4440, you know, it's the nice thing. I just didn't like the interior on this. In real life, we have, we have a Sean Deere 4430, and that thing is, I love it. It's a four wheel 
So pretty much what it is is Hang on, give me a second is Um the full wheel drive version of this. And yeah, it's pretty much this. It just doesn't have the lights in the front. It's literally just like uh it's just this, you know. Go to here, go to EU. One, it's just this, you know? It's a nice tractor still. I was been thinking about getting one of these because it's a pretty good tractor to have in case your baler breaks down. But then like I don't really know if I should get fenders. Like I'll go like this. But I don't really know what I would do with this thing then. This thing since I've had it, I can tell that it's been, it's had a lot, it's been used a whole bunch. I'm the second owner of this thing. It was taken care of. And this thing has gotten worn down. When I had it, you know, it had a decent amount of life left in it. Now it's just kind of there, you know. Like right there, that shouldn't even be like down so far, like the hard PMs. And this thing, the owner of that, the old owner, he had this thing island half above half when he was bailing, and he had an old New Holland baler, you know. So it's not really surprising. Oh, I'm trying to dump it and it's not even done. <laughs> yeah, so I'm looking for just a it's the same tractor, it just has four wheel drive and it has a lot of left in it. Yeah, like this thing has a lot left life left in it. It's just, it's not as strong as it once was. That's why I want to tear this thing apart. I want to tear it apart, put some new parts on it. Like this, I'm halfway, I'm above half. And this thing sounds like this. No? I had one of these. And I would hate for this thing to be a part track, but that's what that was. We were fine, got old and starting to get rusty and eventually just got really old like the engine like it just got really worn down like everything that was on that thing besides like the air filter and all that was original and that was a good tractor now I don't even know what's going on with that thing the to older farm um it's I'm trying to think where it was I can't remember if it was Iowa or where it was I think it was Iowa four for four just like this we there's a four for four we have there at the farm down there in Iowa but the one we had was my dad's tractor. No, yeah, that he got when he was young, when he was like 17, 18. And he had that thing, and then it just gave up. Like, this thing sounds awesome when it's not even working. It's just. Like this what 
I'm gonna retire this tractor after bailing season is over and just use something different. This thing is a good tractor. I just don't want it to blow up while I'm driving it down the road. 